Hello everyone, I'm Rajesh Patia, and welcome to our podcast journey. Today, I want to take you back to a moment that changed my life forever. It was January 14th, 2024, a day etched into my memory like no other. My wife and I were basking in the joy of our daughters, welcoming baby boys into the world. But amidst this happiness, something sinister was brewing within me. The cold shivers and fever that gripped me in December had intensified by January. A visit to our family doctor unveiled a harsh reality, acute myeloid leukemia. As the diagnosis sank in, my journey into the unknown began. Chemotherapy sessions, relentless and demanding, became a part of my daily routine. The support of my wife, family, and friends sustained me through the darkest days. But amidst the pain and uncertainty, there was a glimmer of hope. A belief, unwavering and steadfast, that I would emerge from this ordeal stronger than before. And in the depths of my despair, I found solace in the divine presence of Lord Ganesha, guiding me through the storm. My wife, a pillar of strength and resilience, took charge of every aspect of my care. From managing visitors to handling insurance documents, she stood by my side, a beacon of unwavering love and support. And as my family and friends rallied around me, their prayers and well wishes became my lifeline. But it wasn't just my immediate circle that stepped up. My company employees, friends, and even strangers came forward with selfless acts of kindness, donating blood and platelets to aid in my recovery. The road to recovery was fraught with challenges, both physical and emotional. Chemotherapy side effects ravaged my body, testing my resilience and resolve. But armed with positivity and faith, I weathered the storm. From severe pain and nausea, to hair loss and taste loss, each obstacle became a stepping stone towards healing. And amidst the turmoil, I discovered the power of gratitude, finding beauty in the smallest of blessings and strength in the face of adversity. Milestones, both big and small, dotted my journey towards remission. Each round of chemotherapy brought me one step closer to my ultimate goal, freedom from cancer. But it wasn't just the medical milestones that marked my progress. It was the bonds forged in the crucible of adversity, the friendships formed with the healthcare professionals at Paris Hospital. To Dr. Manoj Mahajanji, the senior oncologist, and the entire nursing and administrative staff, I owe a debt of gratitude beyond measure. Adversity, they say, reveals the true measure of a person's strength. And as I navigated the highs and lows of my treatment journey, I discovered reserves of resilience I never knew existed. From setbacks and complications to moments of despair and doubt, I faced them all with unwavering determination. And in the darkest of moments, it was the love and support of my loved ones that lit the way, guiding me towards the light at the end of the tunnel of Today, as I stand on the other side of my battle with blood cancer, I am filled with an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the second chance at life that I've been granted. Gratitude for the love, support, and kindness that sustained me through the darkest of days. And gratitude for the healthcare professionals who walked beside me every step of the way, guiding me towards healing and wholeness. To all of you, my listeners, my supporters, my fellow warriors, I say thank you. Thank you for being a part of my journey. And may we all find hope, healing, and gratitude in the days to come. Until next time, stay strong, stay positive, and never lose hope.